Welcome everybody, the Death in Paradise cast. So exciting to have you with us. A very, very, very exciting time. The, the end of series 10, which we're very sad about. Do you want to introduce yourselves and just say hi to the Hello audience here? Obviously at the top we have Ralph. Hello. Hey. Hi, we got Taj, Marlon. Hey guys. We got Toby. Who Hello. Played JP. And of course we've got Josie at the bottom, who is Florence. Hi. I, I have to start. What? The, what is? How have you left us like this? What is going to happen? I imagine that you guys are a, a couple of months away from it. But oh my goodness, is it going to happen, uh, Josie? Josie, what? What do you think is going to happen? For your oh, character? don't ask me. Oh my God, I can't tell yeah, you. Josie. What's going to happen, Josie? <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I think it's the best ending possible. It's. The I mean, best it's the part. most frustrating ending possible, Ralph. Is Neville gonna is Neville gonna spit it out, or is he gonna lose lose his guts at the end? Who, who knows? Well, I will tell you something interesting. We actually shot um, two endings. We shot one, and it's left as it is, and we shot another ending. And I'm not gonna tell you what the other ending looked like no. um, because I'm not gonna give you any clues. But we we weren't. There was some debate about whether the ending was gonna be left as it was on a cliffhanger or to try and resolve in whatever direction. I'm not giving you any clues. But in the end, um, obviously it was decided that the cliffhanger was more interesting and, and I think it was probably right. Everyone's gonna be, everyone's gonna be asking. They're gonna be furious. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, right now it's, on, it's um, exploding. <laughs> on social media, people have started to call, you know, like Brad and Angelina were called Brangelina and all. We're yeah. called Floorville. Are you oh, gosh. kidding me? Oh, Lawrence and Neville. Floorville. Wow. It's the <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. So, so, sounds like a terrible teen American horror show. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Floorville, Floor yeah. Floorville. Yeah. Floorville. Sorry, Lindsay Lohan. Yeah. The good news for the fans is that obviously both of you are going to be back next season because we've got to finish that scene. But the devastating news, Toby, is that you've taken your job. Is that is that it? Is that are you saying goodbye to Death in Paradise? Well, yeah, I mean, that's the yeah, that that's that's the that's it. You know what I mean, for now, who knows what happens in the future? But for now, yeah, that's uh, that's the last hurrah. Yeah. How was it filming that? Because. Fans are going to be devastated. I imagine it was a mm. bit of an emotional upheaval for you as well. Yeah, seven years on the show is a long time. It's a very, very long time. And, um, and the show is sort of etched into, into my life, to the way my life has been. Um, but I feel like the show has done a great job in giving JP like a good arc. And it's naturally come to the point where him leaving is not so wild. You know what I mean? It's like he was he was coming up. He was he was a Sarge now. We have now Taj who's come in, done an okay job. I'm joking. He's done a great job. <laughs> <laughs> He's done a great job and um and is now sort of just taking it on and doing doing what he does. So I think the show's kind of the show's always gonna still crack on anyway so yeah the show will crack on but you're going to be so mm. missed i, I the, yeah. the rest of your the rest of your cast i mean taj you've come in this year and jp took took your character completely under his wing did that happen in real life has toby been looking after you out in guadalupe yeah i have to admit it yeah he did <laughs> he, he looked after me being at my first year um you know on a show of this magnitude and also first time being away from home for such a um, long period of time uh yeah he he looked hard to me it was really it was helpful being that i didn't i don't drive either so getting around the island um without a car is near almost impossible so him living not far from me uh yeah he looked hard to me i can see that really well. uh, 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 Taj wasn't allowed out without permission <laughs> he wanted to come out like, do you guys want a beer and he's like i better ask toby i was Taj's uber i was his personal chef because he can't cook by the way um, or it, when he cooks, Lie. he only, he only, only cooks, he only, he only cooks salmon. So I was like, nah, it's too much salmon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so this really was sort of a case of life imitating art here, because hey. in your, because in the yeah. show, your wife is actually your wife, yeah. So yeah. you you moved in with uh, JP and his wife, and actually you were kind of doing the same in real life. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, he, he, he wasn't really moved in to my I didn't live with you, though. Know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't live with us, but, but he was close enough, you know what I mean? And, and it was good, man. Like, you know, it's, it, was, it was nice having him around because like, it does get, it gets lonely sometimes. So Taj was sort of like 
my my go to in it. You know what I mean? Although he didn't want to play PlayStation with me, but that's all good. Oh. You're 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 forgiven, Taj. You're forgiven. <laughs> Now, Josie, you mentioned you were our um, our digital cover girl for this month, which was yeah. fantastic. And you Dang. mentioned, oh. <laughs> you mentioned yes. in that interview Josie. that you that that Toby was like your little brother. So I guess you're going to really miss him. You've worked together for years, haven't you? You know what? I am devastated. I cried so much, Toby. And you know, we had like a not a rap party because we weren't allowed to, but like uh, a goodbye with the with the team. And Toby, when I went back home at my villa, you don't know that, but I, I was still crying. Oh, wow. I, honestly, because I started the show with you. Yeah. And I mean, I love you so much. Toby is the best. He's so um, funny. He's a really good person. And oh, my God, I don't want to talk about it. I'm still emotional about this. It's crazy, oh, isn't it? I don't know why. Yeah, I'm going to miss you so much. I'm going to miss you too, man. I'm going to miss all of you guys, man. Yeah. Ralph, did you cry? <laughs> yeah, well, I was going to say, Joe's cried when she left her up party, but she, she had had a lot to drink, so. Uh... <laughs> no, um, I'm, yeah, I, well, there, it got, obviously, we knew, we'd seen the scripts and everything, we knew this big secret, and, um, you know, Toby and I have always had a, since I arrived, we've had a sort of relationship where we sort of have a laugh with each other and sort of rid each other a little bit, you know, we play football often against each other and all that kind of thing. And so, and we're guys and we're not necessarily given to kind of expressing feelings in as openly as perhaps we should, especially with English guys. Um, but there was a few times, so do you remember like in the last sort of two, three weeks, we'd do a scene and we'd just have a moment and I'd just be like, don't go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and at first he thought I was joking, but then he sort of realised that I meant it and he was like, I'm, I was, it's a done deal. But he hasn't had himself killed off, so there's always a chance. Hey. There's always a chance. And, and I guess as we came back. Josie came back, and as we saw this this season, it's only Ben Miller, and he was dead. And if you die, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make any difference. What was it like having Ben Miller back? Did, did Ralph? Did you get a bit possessive over your shed, your shack? <laughs> no, 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 I didn't actually. Not at all. Well, I, I was. I've always been a big. Fan. I was a fan of Ben's before I met him. I met him doing Death in Paradise because I was in series two, and we got on really, really oh. well, and we've sort of known each other ever since. So he's kind of a friend. I'm a fan. And uh, and I'm a fan of the show, and I just felt I think I, if I'm really honest, felt as excited as as the fans ended up being because it just felt it just felt like a real treat to have him back. It was like the return of the original, return of the. I tweeted, you know, return of the king. Ben Miller is back, and that wasn't lip service. That was true. I re I really felt that. So I just thought it was. I was just gutted. I didn't have any scenes with him. That would have been great fun. Um, so we just had to do our funny little behind the scenes things on our iPhones. Um, but. Um, yeah, I, I just thought it was a joy having him and it felt really special and um, something that uh, the fans really appreciated, which is yeah, yeah. the reason why we did it. They did. And obviously, apart from planning Toby's return, which, you know, has to happen, Toby, we, we can't let you go for good. Are there any other um, former DIP stars that you're desperate to have back? I mean, Chris Marshall hasn't popped back, has he? And, and what about Dwayne? Like, the fans really want to see Dwayne again. It would be quite fun to do a all four especially now that Ben Miller can turn up in somebody's like imagination. <laughs> Quite fun to have all four detectives on at the same time, like some weird mashup where like, like somebody's just, we're, we're all sharing the same hallucination of Ben Miller and together we all solve the case. I wonder how that'd be me, Ardell, Chris and Ben. <laughs> that's, my pitch. that's my pitch for the producers. Think on guys. I like it. It's a good one. So I want to know how different it was for you this season. Cause obviously we're in the middle of, we were, were in the middle of lockdown when you started filming and all the way through. Um, I, I was reading um, Ralph. In fact, you were on the one show when you saying that your fiance couldn't even come out and visit you. So it must've been a really different situation this year. How did you all like, what, what were the difficulties and, and how did you, how did you cope? Well, it was a bit different because first of all, everybody was wearing a mask. Yeah. Apart from us, we were the lucky guys because we were on screen and the makeup and hair and everything. But I mean, working in Guadeloupe with the heat and the mask, it was very difficult for everybody, but everybody did great. We had a COVID supervisor. Mm. <laughs> he was making sure that everybody was following the rules. Um, we couldn't be too close to each other during the scenes. I mean, uh, it, was, it wasn't really easy at the beginning, but I mean, after a few days, we just got used to it and we had to do it in order to work. So we couldn't really complain. And I mean, the, the challenge was for us, I mean, 
that people couldn't notice on screen that we were filming during a pandemic. And I think it did a great job. Yeah, absolutely. I think it was, it's great. And that's, it's been, I think Death in Paradise is such great escape, escapism. And I think that your show has got lots of people through lockdown as well. You know, there's a lot of it. So lots of people have been able to go back and watch the old ones. I think that's been really great. Ralph, what did you find was the biggest difference? Oh, well, like Josie says, um, th there were lots of there were lots of little differences and, and a few big ones. Like we we had to shoot the show in a way that we wouldn't necessarily normally have shot it. So we had to pick shots where it looked like we were standing close to each other, but in real life we were actually a good sort of the, the it's a, a meter or more in France is the law. Yeah. So so we were we were a meter apart pretty pretty much at all times, um, and the COVID supervisors sort of uh, is well I mean, him, his job was broadly speaking to sort of make sure everyone was constantly hand sanitizing and peer at the uh, at the shots and go guys can you make sure you're a bit further apart and everything and bless him he was great but he must have felt like he was a bit like a school teacher at times but <laughs> it has to be said you know people are resilient and, and and this cast and crew is resilient and it was it was really great to see how how everybody just took it and it became the new normal and we just got on with it and I feel like we've we've been really lucky and I think I think we did everything we could have done, and we were really lucky. We needed a slice of luck to finish mm. it, but um, yeah, we, we managed to get it done. You made it, got it, got it done. All right, I want to have a bit of a game with you, a bit of a quick fire. I want to see mm. what what your thoughts are. Who is there a score, in... is there a score for this? Because Toby and I get a bit competitive. Do you? Do you, do you, wait, 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 wait. you say Toby <laughs> and I? Or... Okay, yeah, I get a bit competitive. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. No, no, I'm more competitive than you. <laughs> <laughs> So who takes the longest in makeup? Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, not Come a on, come on, guys. That's very clear. <laughs> you know why, you know why. You have to yeah. take care of this. It's not my fault. <laughs> wow. Because it's like, this doesn't happen by accident, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wake up like this every morning, okay? <laughs> yeah, I woke up like so this. So do I, so I do I. I woke up like this. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the most studious line learner? Ralph. I was going to say you, Toby. No, jo Josie Ralph probably. Josie has to learn her lines in a different language. Oh, it's true. It's true, but yes, by the difference. Am I Ralph studious? I don't think so. Ralph, does, <laughs> Ralph doesn't learn his lines. He just does it. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know when he learns his lines because I just don't know when he does it because no one ever <laughs> sees him do it. Um, he just turns up to work, <laughs> looks at the script, and goes, okay, and then starts shooting. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Lucky Ralph. Who's now I don't know what your setup is, you know, whether you have dressing rooms or Winnebago's, but who's got the messiest Winnebago? Uh, probably Toby. Do you, were you guys you weren't guys were sharing one this time, were you Toby? It was probably the one that I had actually. Because my one was in the guest cast as well. It would be like Yeah. All different people at one time. So it probably be mine. <laughs> it's not really mine. <laughs> Ask me next year when I've got a Winnebago. <laughs> <laughs> who's who's the onset joker? Oh, Toby. I have to see Toby. Toby. Yeah. Yeah. It, it depends. It depends. It, de it depends uh, what your class is jokes. Yeah. I mean, if Give me some examples, I'll tell you. Definitely not Toby. If it's banter, it's Ralph. <laughs> yeah. If it's, if it's jokes, then maybe I'll take it. But if it's banter, it's definitely Ralph. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have your have you done any practical jokes, Toby, that you can tell us about? Have you caught people out with tricks? Mm, that's not really my that's not really my type of joking. Okay. I don't, I don't, what's my you type? Got me. You got me the, oh, the jellyfish yeah. oh, yeah, You got me. So, so Taj had this scene, I can't remember what episode, I think it was episode six, I think. And he had to go into the water and he was wearing the um the, <laughs> the floppy the, wetsuits. Yeah. yeah. So I told him. <laughs> I told him about, <laughs> I told him about half an hour because I, I thought it was his first season. I told him about half an hour before that that sea is renowned for jellyfish, just all year round. It's constant. That's why no one's on the beach. Well, he forgot that it was COVID. That's why no one was on the beach. But I told him that's why no one's on the beach. So I, I'm shocked that they they're using this sea. I'm I'm really shocked. And he started he started panicking. <laughs> You're so mean. <laughs> You're so mean. Poor Taj. Oh, that's great. He's got to learn. He's got to learn. <laughs> you bullied him. You should have seen his face. Oh, gosh. That was so funny. It was actually, I, I gave it to myself. You should have kept it going on longer because it was really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was really good. Which one no, of you was... is 
Which one of you is the most different to your character? Hmm. Uh, probably Ralph. A uh, Ralph, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Me or Toby. Toby's not very JP either. Well, I don't know. No, JP's all about kind of responsibility and family, and that, that is Toby as well. Yeah, it's probably me. Probably you. Yeah. Yeah. Ralph, well, Ralph. Probably, is, yeah. like, ne Neville's like had to spend this series like mm. trying to push, back, you know, pu push his own boundaries and step out of his comfort zone. And in the real world, I'm just an adrenaline <laughs> junkie. I'm, I'm all over it, like skiing, <laughs> abseiling, skydiving. It's very mm. not Neville. So, yeah, probably mm. me. Well, actually, and, and uh, Neville went for a swim for the first time yeah. this season. And there's quite a lot of going for a dip. Do you guys feel the pressure to, you know, work out while you're there, make sure that you're looking buff when you're well, in those moments? I'll let, I'll let well, as Josie said, uh, it just happens naturally. You know, we just, we just wake, yeah, wake up like that, right, Josie? Yeah, it happens yeah. naturally when, when Ralph decides to only eat, um, to go on a keto diet. Um, for two seasons in order to do that scene. <laughs> happens, yeah. happens, yeah. happens naturally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Happens naturally. <laughs> All you've got to do is just naturally like lift a load of weights and uh, eat keto diet for two, two years and then it just happens naturally. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, which one of you drinks the most rum punches? Oh, suddenly not I me. don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit worried that I'm the answer to all these questions. <laughs> all, the the responsible win. ones and the irresponsible ones. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to win, so that there we go. You can, yeah, you can you take go. your bow. I'm not sure it's um, the accolade I was hoping for. One, <laughs> one other question that we that everyone always wants to know is what's it really like? Like you spend a lot of time in the Caribbean. I mean, that sounds absolutely incredible. But is it like the show? Like, are you out? partying every night at the bar on the on the edge of the ocean and or does it does it sort of become real life for you out there well it depends some people party every night so yeah who's that don't. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> i'm not gonna say any names no 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 um not really during the week because i mean we have to work very hard um during the scenes but yeah during the weekends we try to enjoy as much as possible so it could be Partying was difficult this year because of the situation, but just, you know, going to the restaurant, um, hiking, diving, swimming. Mm. Yeah, we're on a beautiful island. We have to, you know, enjoy it as much as possible, for sure. That's incredible. Yeah. You also have to define what partying every night is. I mean, I would be out every night, but you have to be in bed by 10 or you can't do the job. Yeah. You know what I mean, by the time 10 o'clock rolls around, if you're still out, you're like, it feels like it's four in the morning. You just yeah, got to yeah. go, I need to be home by now. So, yeah, yeah it's, there's, there's only so much that you can feasibly do, even if you wanted to. And um, what about the heat? Ben's like backless shirts. I love, I love the fact that he used, to, that he wore those. You know, that was the way that you can wear a suit in the incredible heat. Do you have any other like clever hacks that you guys use to help manage that? Because it's a huge difference from being in the UK, and especially you, Ralph, wearing like a full suit every day. Well, I guess well, you guys are wearing- Ben's backless shirt when he came out. I was like, <laughs> wait a second. I, I said earlier, didn't I? It was like Return of the King. I was like, yeah, you're telling me, I don't get a backless shirt. <laughs> Ben's got this whole rig where he just has a backless shirt and like a, a piece of string and then a cuff, like a fake cuff. He doesn't even have sleeves on his- Oh, I wow. Like, I just have to have the full thing and then the jacket on. So um, no, I'm afraid I don't have any clever hacks. Oh. Just, um, mm. They, the, the makeup department often has the um, the chamois leathers, though, don't they? That they soak in iced water. Yeah. That uh, Don's particularly fond of oh, that. Don, he looks amazing with that. Yeah, he has a hard Don. Don has a hard time in that uniform, and it's really difficult. All, all you lads getting the police uniforms on and off is mm -hmm. a bit of a pain, isn't it? No, uh, no, I'm all right to be fair. I mean, it's a t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm cool with it, and it's uh, like my trousers are quite wide, and yeah, like, it is coming through. Yeah, it's got the good shirt's like a massive hassle. Even just to like, you could quickly like take them off in between takes and throw it back on. It takes a couple of seconds. So it's not, we do tend to walk hard. around in vests in between. Whenever there's a, like half a chance, we'll whip the shirt off and just walk around in vests because yeah. Mm -hmm. Taj, what's what's Josie the surprise? Just gets to run around in a little short shorts and a loose fitting vest. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's a hard life for you, Josie. Yeah. Yeah. Taj, what would, what were you most surprised about? When you you know joining joining the set was there was there this sort of family that you were joining? You know. Was there anything that surprised you about the experience so it wasn't like you thought it would be? Um, I think essentially that it doesn't really feel like a job what, when you're doing it. It feels like a, like a holiday where you have to just look after a few responsibilities. Like it, it doesn't really feel 
like you're working far from when you're on set as soon as you finish it's okay cool I'm gonna go to my bedroom and jump in my pool like when can you ever say that on <laughs> on any other on any other job so I was surprised I was just surprised no I wouldn't say relaxed because at the end of the day like on set it can get a bit long all the hours but just when you buy it down on paper that wouldn't be how you really describe any job so you really mm. you should best really really grateful to the position I was in do you get you know after when you've been on hospital FYI it, it's downhill from here I'm telling you now <laughs> I, I 23 know. years I'm I've been waiting. doing this I've never had a pool and a villa before <laughs> <laughs> Don't think at 19 you're going to get used to this. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you've been on an amazing holiday and you get home and you get post-holiday blues, do you feel that when you come back from your time? Or is it a bit of a relief because you've been away from, you know, your family and your friends for so long? I'll be honest with you. A bit of you. both. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a bit of both. Yeah, but both. I, I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. For, for me, it's, it's you, your... I guess when I, when I get back, like, uh, after six months on the island... I can't lie to you. There's a point where I'm like, okay, cool. I'm ready to go home. Mm -hmm. But then as it starts to get towards like February, you're itching. I start to itch to get back out, to go on loop again, literally start to itch to get back out, to have the peace and serenity and the sun and the sea and all that stuff. But for me, it turns from holiday to work after about three months being out there. It starts to sort of just change. I'm like, okay, cool. This is definitely work now for me. What about anyone else? I agree. It's the same. I mean, we've been doing this job for so long. Um, one of the reasons I left the show at the end of Series 8 was because I was struggling to be away from home uh, for so long, a bit. That was one of the reasons. But I was so happy to come back. So, yeah, I mean, it's exhausting. At the end of the five months, we are so tired and I can't wait to go home and, you know, see my family and friends and everybody. But at the same time, when you leave the island, it's winter <laughs> at home. It's so cold. And you're like, maybe I could stay a bit more. But you're you torn apart. It's like ah, love and hate. But, yeah, I can't wait to go back and just, you know, see the colors, the smell. Everything is so different. It's another world and it feels good. I mean, especially during these times when if, like, we can't travel, everything is very difficult. We were blessed mm. to be there and work and just to be able to enjoy everything, the nature, go to the restaurant. We were so lucky. And final thing, Ralph, I have to ask you about your dog because you came home with a memento this, uh, this season, yeah. didn't you? Oh, are you going to get him? <laughs> oh, no. he, he came, did he go... What dog? He came back with a dog. What dog? With the dog. The dog. The dog. You're joking. No, I'm not. No, you're huh? no, he didn't. No. Yes, he did. Your best he friend. He did Toby. not. He did not. So the story, can you tell the story, Josie, for people who don't know? It was a, a stray, was it? That was um I mean, we were filming, you know that scene where Florence, we we are the harbour and she wants to get rid of her ring. You know, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was a dog, and the lady from the costume department took her, and she wanted to take her home in the UK, but she couldn't for some reason. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wait, when did this happen? Why, why, why do you have her? <laughs> we rescued her. She arrived about two weeks ago. Well, about a week ago. Wow. She looks so healthy and happy, doesn't she? Right. Oh, she can hear the other dog going. Wait, wait. Incredible. <laughs> have you, uh, did you, did anyone else bring back anything, uh, you know, from the island? Uh, no, no other ring. animals. I bought a key ring. A key and ring. And <laughs> yeah, same, same. That's what I bought back. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not it the first the time that happens. I mean, some people took some cats, dogs. Really? Yeah. Yeah. From the street. So I'm, I, I want to know what's going through Toby's mind right now. What's that face all about? I'm confused. <laughs> it wasn't your. <laughs> wait. <laughs> was your dog in Guadeloupe. It was. <laughs> I'm confused. I know. I know. I'm confused. <laughs> no. So do you know? So what happened was. Um, so you know the costume department were looking after her, and she was supposed to be going back to the UK and um, yeah. having a family there. Like literally the day before we were all due to fly back, the all the flight regulations changed because of Tier Four lockdown, and suddenly you couldn't transport animals. There was no way of getting her back home. So all the costume department that had been looking after her were, were panicking, going, we're going, trying to find a shelter, trying to find something for her to do, for her to go, somewhere to go. And um, 
So I spoke to, do you remember that restaurant, La Scal, Fred and Maris at La Scal? I spoke to mm-hmm. them and asked if they could look after her for a couple of weeks and see if I could try and sort something out. And um, a lot of a lot of hassle later and a lot of very difficult, yeah, all right, a lot of difficult times later, we managed to <laughs> ship her by cargo um, to the US and now we've got her. Okay. Wow. What? You go, you go. Wow. Wow. Now I have a dog that I never planned on having, but it was either that or she'd have to go to a shelter and, you know, you don't want to, after, after, if she she was a street dog when we found her, and mm. she was surviving on the streets. But once you've taken a dog in and given it love and a fa- attention and food and a family, it loses all those survival skills. You can't just put it back out on the street, and it would have been pretty miserable for her going to a shelter as well. So, big Ralph. Book. There we go. <laughs> your your forever memento of death in Paris. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for chatting to us. I won't keep you any longer because it's late. Well, late at night here. Not so late for you, Ralph. But. Uh, we're very excited for series 11. When do you start filming? You tell me. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know yet. Well, because of this current circumstances, yeah, we have yeah. to, everything's sort of up in the air, but we'll, we'll try okay. and figure it out just like we did this time around. But you will be back. And I guess we should say a very big farewell to Toby. Fan favourite. Thank you for all Thank of you. your JP years. <laughs> don't go. Don't go. Come back. It's not okay. too yeah. Thanks so much, guys. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 B